Our next guest is helping people take their imaginations further than they ever thought possible through 3D products and services that are easy to use and, I'm told, affordable. We're going to find out all about that. The CEO and founder of a company called Matter and Form. Hmm, interesting. It's Drew Cox. Drew, welcome into tomorrow. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. You brought something interesting here that I have no concept yet, and I didn't want you to tell me, okay. so that we would learn with the audience. Again, if you're on the radio at the moment, come by intotomorrow.com, check out the videos. But it's something that looks almost like a DJ turntable yep. th that you've opened, <laughs> but I don't know what it does. So tell me. Sure. It's, a, uh, it's our first scanner. Uh, it's a three-dimensional scanner. And what you do is you put a real object on the turntable. That's where the record would go. But uh -huh. in our case, we're going to use a real object, something like a sculpture. And what you get back is a three-dimensional object that you can use in 3D printing or animation, design. Really? So it's a, I'm noticing a little, like, what is this, a brooch? It's or a, a little ring, ring or yeah. Now, you put it on top? Uh, well, actually, the ring was a good example of an artist who was using the scanner, scanned in a, a, a clay sculpture of a petal, oh. and he then printed it out and made this beautiful ring and from it. And made it a ring. Yeah. So, okay, so how? let's say I wanted to scan this, though, as a 3D item. Would it do that? Yeah, it would. And um, put it on the on the platform? Put it and, on the bed? And close the... No, you just, you know, you just leave it open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just leave it open. There's a turntable here that looks like the record player like you said ah. and there's also a, a little head over the side that has a laser and a camera the, thus uh, getting the action and that's I'm saying right. that this thing looks like it rises it and moves lowers up and down and, yeah, yep, and captures all three-dimensional points and then when we're done rotating all the way around head moves up does it again eventually we get this nice point cloud that, that looks like the object and we then through the magic of software, it <laughs> makes all <laughs> connects all the points, like connecting the dots, mm -hmm. and we get a nice little, what they call a watertight mesh, which is uh, uh, something we can print. So obviously the sensors and, and camera inside are, are designed to look at whatever's on the, the platter. Yeah, that's right. Anything you put table. on the platter, it, it can scan. And then when we tell it to scan, this starts turning, I'm assuming, that's and right. then yep. the camera and the sensors are doing And it's, it's all very, its very easy to use. That's kind of cool. Thus, the matter and form. That's right. All right. <laughs> now, is this this is the product, right? This is, is the it, actual product. Yeah. Is it available yet? Yeah, we've been shipping. Uh, we shipped earlier this year, yeah. and uh, we're we're still a very young company. We're only two years old, so wow. uh, this is our first product. Excellent. And uh, where is it available, and for how much? It's available on our site. It's also available on Amazon. Uh, Amazon sells it for five seventy nine. Okay, five hundred seventy. Five hundred and seventy. I don't want anybody saying, "Oh, I got six bucks. I'll get one." <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's another point. Now, talk about, uh, especially for those listening on the radio at the moment, uh, the height and, and, and width of, of an object, because you can't put, like, your living room sofa on there. Yeah, that's uh, right. <laughs> and try to scan a 3D print model of it. Uh, but let's talk in terms of, of uh, you know, minimums, maximums. Yeah, that sure. There, I mean, every every scanner, every 3D scanner has, has uh, you know, restrictions. Oh, of and, course. And ours, right. is, uh, ours is a little bit in size, so we have 6.5 inches in diameter, 9 inches tall. Okay. Um, that's kind of the volume of a 3D print that yeah. can print. Uh, it also uh, it has, you know, because it's a laser, you can't put something clear or reflective on it without powdering it. So you might uh, want to, uh, you might want to use some talcum powder with that. Oh, but really? So yeah, if you put talcum powder on an item, it'll scan it appropriately. Yeah, that's all it takes. I'll be darned. Yeah. Oh, so if you want to scan so this metallic ring, you just yeah. put some talcum powder. Or we, on or it. we can uh, put the, our Into Tomorrow hand sanitizer on there, and then it'll come out with a 3D printed version of it, which will do <laughs> anyone no value, <laughs> no but value. Uh, but except that it's <laughs> but it'll cool. look cool. Right. Yeah, sure. We say, look what we made. Yeah. And yeah. then you can take that model and upload it to our other system, which is Cashew, and it's a free presentation platform that we've been, oh, uh, that we've been working on. Oh, but not these are not edible ones. <laughs> not so. the no, we're nuts, but not that type of nuts. No, <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, um, no, that's mm, great. This is, that's my kind of guy. I like that. <laughs> uh, so this is, Cashew is a presentation platform. Though. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the community that we work with needs a place to show off their 3D work, and just like us, and, sure. and so we built this for free for the community. Ah, it's excellent. Cashew 3D, and it should be lash, uh, should be launching in the next couple of weeks. Okay, terrific. So something else we can look for when we visit matterandform.net. That's right. And and we'll do that. What do you think the whole concept of 3D is headed into tomorrow? Oh, because it seems like huge. we're limitless. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, 3D printing is a great end to 3D content, but, I mean, there's so much more you can do with it. Think about your cell phone. I mean, what do you do with your two-dimensional photos? 
you know, you don't always print them. So. Yeah, for sure. They just get stuck in the phone, and, and maybe you share them, maybe you don't. Yeah. Maybe you realize, my gosh, I could have deleted that stuff six months ago. Totally. And, you and can have do that with room. 3D. Yeah. yeah. And now the same thing with 3D, or there's something you just want to replicate. Yeah, for I sure. Mean, it's, it's the closest to the whole Star Trek idea of replicating something. <laughs> yeah, you know, In this case, wait. you put it on your matter Inform device and replicate it. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Do, you, do you see uh, food? Being uh, made in this manner one day? <laughs> Maybe they yeah. do have th they do have food printers right now. Yeah. So uh, I think there's a, some at the show actually. Version two of Matter Inform. We'll, uh, we'll make edible things. Maybe. Yeah, you, Maybe. Never know. you never know. Yeah, but we'll have to have you back on if you do that. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll talk <laughs> more about good. it. <laughs> Meantime, visit his site Matter and Form, not the ampersand, of course. That won't work in a web address. Matterandform.net. We'll link you there, too, if you should forget that, into tomorrow.com. Drew, thanks so much for spending thanks a few minutes with us. Good luck. This is cool. And, and at some point, we want to try one or two uh, items and, yeah, and see how it does its job. Wonderful. So, thanks, lo Dave. Love it. Into tomorrow.com for more. And we're back with more coverage from the International CES in our broadcast booth on the show floor here. Dave Graveline bringing you further into tomorrow right here on the Advanced Media Network. <laughs>